Adventure Comics number 383. Supergirl, as you guys know, the channel brand is Superman, of course. So we love Supergirl, Superman, all of it. We love all of it. Um, let's talk about this great issue of Adventure Comics. I'm not going to review this. Um, so if you know my channel, you know that I review everything with my space uh, method, which you can see on other videos. I'm not going to review it because um, these older comics, I'm reading these for fun uh, for my leisure time here. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm analyzing this and should you buy this or should you collect this comic? I'm not going to do that. I love adventure comics and Superboy. Those are going to be my two mega collections. I'm going to try to actually get every issue of Superboy, including issue number one. I'm going to try to get them all. Um, big one is first Bizarro. That that's a big one to get. Um, obviously number one is big first appearance of superboy and more fun comics i don't think that's happening in my life <laughs> um unless i win that lotto come on baby i win that lotto that's it it's gonna be who some guy who's got this collection is gonna be very lucky because i'm gonna take the whole thing from him so yeah i'm doing this for fun um so we got the cover here poor supergirl how tragic she died so young oh uh no jimmy clark i'm alive oh my god they're going to bury supergirl they can't feel me, hear me. I don't exist. Oh, this is a tragic tale. Come on, Supergirl. We got to figure this out. So um, please stop my funeral. Great. I love it. Uh, so there's a funeral going on here for Soup, for Supergirl. And uh, oh, there's a lot of great stuff where uh, Supergirl's just helping random people. Like she she's going to help this little girl. And there's like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain what it is here. <clears throat> um, she, so there's something caught in her eye. Um, there's a speck of dust in this little girl's eye. So Supergirl uses like sucking and then sucks it out. I mean, come on, that's so cool. Like who even would have thought of that? Um, meantime, you got this, uh, this thing attacking. So Supergirl fights it and she gets blasted. And then she kind of gets blasted into this other, like not dimension, but universe sort of, where it's like, they don't, they can't, they can't see her. No, like none of them can see or feel her. They assume that she's dead. Um, she tries to contact them in different ways, right? It just doesn't. It doesn't happen. Nobody can. Nobody can hear her or or see her. Uh, streaky, right? All that stuff. Now, I love these old ads here. It's great. Glow in the dark. Oh, glow power. Nice. Um, there's a train here. Now she goes and visits Abraham Lincoln. This is what I loved about these old adventure comics. There's a sort of attitude of anything can happen. Like Supergirl's in another universe now, that's it, done. Oh, there's Abraham Lincoln, she's time traveling, done. Or whatever, right? Like, it's like anything can happen. And you usually get, and you get two stories. So you get, you know, and they, they move fast. I, I, I like the art here. Um, it, this was just a kooky story. You know, she helps stop uh, like a missile, like, You've got like, you got other, I forgot who this was, the other historical figure here. Uh, oh yeah, Isaac Newton, right? So there's Isaac Newton and it's like, he's firing rockets or something. You're like, what is happening here, right? Uh, it's super weird. She goes to this medieval kind of thing too. Um, this is just a great fun story. And she gets knocked back out and she's like, oh yeah, I was just in like some other universe or something. They do this all the time. These like kind of like these four panels it's like the, the last four panels, half a page, they, they just describe the whole thing and figure it all out. Um, Supergirl's Day of Danger, this is the second story. So what happens here is that this experiment, um, they take this college kid, or this, uh, I guess he's high school. Um, so, and, and he's like an athlete and they take Kara, she's, she's dating him. And uh, they take Supergirl and they, they transfer her powers into him. But what happens is that there's sort of like this weird connect where it, he doesn't feel any pain, but if he gets punched or hit, she feels it. So you would think that they would just quarantine this guy for, it's 24 hours, you'd quarantine this guy and be like, don't go anywhere. But no, of course he goes out and does stuff and you're like, okay. Um, but anyways, um, and I always like, I gotta say, I do like the uh, the blue skirt. I know some people are the, are, are the red skirt, which was who I used to be. Um, but I kind of got into this blue skirt reading these old comics. It was really something, 
it just feels something very organic about the blue. Um, it should be red if you're going by Superman's color scheme. And um, I definitely want red trunks on Superman. I hate when he doesn't have the trunks. It really irritates me and it looks stupid. But Supergirl, I could take the blue. I mean, obviously the red is the classic. If they're, if they're ever going to do anything um, moving forward, um, they're going to have the red skirt. I don't like her new costume with a jacket and pants. That's garbage. So anyways, um, this kid gets, they want him to throw the wrestling match. So they're going to beat him up, these gangster guys. Um, so Supergirl has to kind of help. She gets knocked out here and, and goes into the hospital. She's hurt. So this kid feels bad. He's like, oh man, if I get hurt, Supergirl gets hurt. So he's trying to be careful, but these gangster guys are all over him. Um, basically, uh, the effect just wears off and then Supergirl just, you know, beats the crap out of them and that's it. She's, she still has her other powers. So um, she's not completely um, like immobilized or whatever. Uh, cool little there's a cool little maze in here for no reason there's like this evil maze going on that was neat supergirl helps the guy navigate it um and and her her costume is still her cape is bulletproof so she can still use her cape um i mean i love this issue i thought it was like really great i'm not, I'm not gonna spend any more time on it um you can grab all of these real cheap uh on 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 ebay or whatever or you can that ain't gonna be 10 cents though that's for sure or what what was the cost of this sucker uh, they, they, they put a tag over it, so I can't tell. But anyway, I love these old adventure comics. You can read them digitally as well. They're, they're available. But uh, yeah, they're a lot of fun. It's a great series to collect. A lot of cool, fun stories. They weren't taking it too seriously. Like they weren't thinking, oh, we're writing a big Shakespeare novel here. It's like, mm, oh, you know, a play or whatever. Can't we, we're just writing a fun comic book. So on that, uh, on that level, I think it succeeds so let me know, if are you a fan of Supergirl? Are you a fan of Adventure Comics? Um, if so, give me a like. Uh, consider subscribing. I do a lot of this kind of stuff, live streams, all that good, good stuff. So that's it. All right, until next time.